Today we are at Zipline in Ghana. Zipline is using drones in a sustainable way. So this is a parcel with a parachute and the drone is dropping this parcel with medical equipment in remote areas in Ghana, in the jungle. Where normally a Jeep would drive like six or seven hours, this drone will uh, uh, deliver it in half an hour or less. The whole concept of Zipline started um, to create the first logistic system that would serve all humans equally. So we realized that there was a challenge that was with regards to access. Now people would have to wait for a very long period of time before they can have access to some vital supplies. And here not limiting it to only health, but which is one key vital need of any single person on earth. So we decided on solving that access challenge that people had and currently we are leveraging on our expertise in robotics and autonomy um, to manufacture and create drones that could transport um, some of these supplies to far reached areas that people um, used to have challenges with in gaining medical supplies. This is the first centre that was set up in Ghana. Um, Ghana currently has a total of six distribution centres um, centred in various parts of the country. Um, so for this distribution centre, we serve a little over 700 health facilities. Um, Ghana in total serves um, about um, 2,500 uh, 2, health facilities from this single point. Um, so in Ghana currently, the use cases that we have, we have medical products as you can find it on the shelf. Um, then we have vaccines in the fridge, which are cold chain products. Um, then we have blood products as well. Um, then when the COVID pandemic hit Ghana, um, Zipline supported the government of Ghana with sending COVID-19 samples to testing labs and also COVID-19 vaccines. Um, at the moment, um, some centers are sending out agricultural health um, products like uh, vaccines that are used in poultry farm. Uh, we have other countries that even do artificial insemination, sending swine semen to pig grease for artificial insemination. For most of the medical products that you find here, they are on the shelf because they are supposed to be kept at room temperature. But for the vaccines, because of the temperature um, fragility, we keep them in the fridges. We have some vaccines that as well go into the freezer. Uh, so for products um, like emergency medication, uh, we have ranging from anti-snake venom that are used in cases of snake bites. Um, so a typical scenario is if a farmer is going to the farm and is bitten by a snake and reports to the nearest health facility, um, they call quickly on zip line and we can send that product uh, as soon as possible. Within five minutes, the product is out of the zip line distribution center to make the delivery. So here we have a fulfillment operator handing a package over to a flight operator who will do a couple of checks on the package. He will scan a QR code on the package and scan a QR code on the base of the drone to assign the package to the drone. So what he's basically doing is he's trying to input whatever information is on the package into the server which will then be fed to the drone for the uh, package to be dropped at the appropriate facility. So also would input the package so after loading the package he goes ahead to place the body onto the launcher you do a couple of physical checks First on the propulsion system as he's doing. We have a second operator come in with a wing, put it on the body, then she also repeats the same check. Then finally, the first operator comes in with the battery and completes the whole assembly with the nose cone. They follow through with more physical checks and some internal checks done by the drone itself. So currently Michael is doing walk around checks, he's going all around the drone 
to check for defects and if any is found that particular component will be taken off and replaced victoria will also repeat a selected few of those same checks So she, what she's doing currently is she's requesting for clearance from our in-house controller who will then give her the go ahead after checking a few parameters. When she gets the clearance, she will now communicate back. She will communicate back to controller. Then she will proceed to launch. We are active in seven countries. In Ghana, we have five distribution centers. We have three in the United States. We have a distribution center in Kenya, another in Japan, and two in Rwanda. We have Nigeria, three. In this distribution center, we have done over 42,000 deliveries. And on a daily basis, we do an average of 100 deliveries plus. In the whole of Ghana, in all the six distribution centers, we've been able to do over 320,000 deliveries since its inception. We seek to build an excellent system where we would continue to serve our customers and make sure that they are able to gain all their supply as well as extending our coverage currently we serve 70 percent of the country but to make sure that everyone reaches our goal that every single person gains access to their 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 needs medical supplies to be precise we decide on extending that coverage and then ensuring that everyone has access so there is a landing so as the drone approaches, communication is sent and the poles are aligned in the appropriate position. For the line to snap the drone out of the air, what happens is the very moment the drone is caught, the motors are shut down for safety reasons. It will swing to a stop, which we have the light indicator showing. When it turns green, it means it's safe to lower it. then with the help of a second operator they will go into disassemble the four components as mentioned so first they will take out the battery place it down and pick the wing off the other will take the body of the line then lastly they will they would go to take out, take off the battery from the recovery pad. Then the second operator would reset the entire recovery system. The system will go green, signifying that it's ready for another capture. So what we see currently here is our charging station where the batteries which serve as our, our information storage unit or black box is slotted in for us to download, upload information, charge and also cool them to make them ready for subsequent flights. So this was the video about the initiative Zipline. Uh, we think it's very inspiring as it's not only sustainable because less fuel is used to deliver the medicine, but it's also way quicker to deliver medicine this way um, and a lot cheaper. So yeah, a lot of wins all together. Uh, they are also still improving. So a new drone is almost released. So we're very curious for that as well. And yeah, this was the video about Zipline. Mm -hmm.